Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. What's happening? What's up with my people? You Be The Judge. I'm back at it. Going in on Mayor Sheen Tao. I'm going in on her helmet again, man. Oakland Mayor. Um, and I just did a video called The Fall Guy. Um, Floyd Mitchell is our new police chief in Oakland, and uh, I'm just hoping he doesn't become the fall guy for a lot of stuff that's about to occur while Mayor Shing Tao's in office. Okay, fast forward. So when I, in that video, I mentioned the federal oversight, and Oakland has been under federal oversight for over 10 years now, I believe. And there's this guy, Robert Warshaw, Warshaw, excuse me, and he's been in there for the, he's been there for the whole time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all this video. This is from a news channel in Arizona. And this is what this guy does. I mean, and this is what we're dealing with in Oakland. And you, he got swept under the rug, but I'm, you know, I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to pick up the trash and throw it back on the ground. Something, but he about to, yeah. My name is uh, Robert Warshaw. This is the man at the center of the former Oakland police chief's lawsuit. The case is over and we're here to uh, uh, monitor the agency's compliance. If Warshaw looks familiar, that's because he's also the court-appointed federal monitor overseeing the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office reform efforts. It followed a racial profiling lawsuit that dates back to former Sheriff Joe Arpaio. This is an experienced monitoring team. Oakland's former police chief, Leron Armstrong, doesn't dispute that, but he claims he was illegally fired for criticizing Warshaw and that Warshaw pressured the mayor to do it. Chief Armstrong was unlawfully retaliated against. He was a chief who did nothing wrong. He had a great track record. That's Armstrong's attorney, Will Edelman. In that lawsuit, he writes, Warshaw unfairly discredited and minimized the former chief's efforts because Warshaw stood to personally benefit. It's a sentiment, he says, that Oakland's last five police chiefs share. Chief Kirkpatrick publicly stated that the only reason the police department is out of compliance is because Warshaw wants to keep milking Oakland for money. Robert, so, uh, okay, y'all, Robert Warshaw, uh, that's this guy's name. He's been in um, overseeing Oakland for, I'd say, over 10 years now, federal oversight, because a lot of stuff that happened with our police, corruption, and so they said we needed federal oversight. And he's been in there for 10 years, and it hasn't gotten better at all, Mr. Warshaw. And I got some footage here. This is from a news station in Arizona, and um, they're explaining what this guy does, why he oversees your city. Check this out, and I'll be back. Former Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone shared similar concerns when he left office early. There's so many ways to spend, you know, in our circumstance, a quarter of a billion dollars for the betterment of a community, and there's a lot of waste in here, and it's unacceptable, unforgivable. According to the lawsuit, the mayor made clear she was terminating Chief Armstrong because he criticized Warshaw. After doing it, at least five people say the mayor stated in an angry tone, expletive, the monitor for making me do this. I really didn't want to do this. Ultimately, this will cost the taxpayers in Oakland twice. First the monitor, and then this lawsuit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm just saying, no. He got LeRon Armstrong up out of here. I'm telling you, that to me was all, uh, let me see, what's the word I'm looking for? That was um, orchestrated. I believe all that was orchestrated. Once she got in there, like I said, he he got, he, oh, you fit, you're you about to be in here? Oh, yeah, I got something for you. He has to go. If you want this to work out, he got to go. I think that's what basically happened to LeRon. I think so. But uh, I'll be back. Check this out. Now, we checked in with Maricopa County. Taxpayers here have spent more than $26 million just on the monitor's fees. We reached out to Warshaw for his response and still have not heard back. Okay, so I, I had to grab my phone. So I'm going to give you a little back. Let me give you a little backstory on uh, uh, Robert. Um, he has been a federal monitor of Oakland Police Department as part of the negotiated settlement agreement since uh, the second group of monitors started in 2010. He's been there for a while. Uh, during the uh, Clinton administration, Warsaw served as an associated director of White House official, I mean, excuse me, Office of National Drug Control Policy, Deputy Drug Caesar, hmm, under Barry McCaffrey from 1998. He served in the U.S. Army. He started out in the Miami Police Department where he rose in a position of assistant chief. 
He has teeth in both Rochester, New York, Statesville, North Carolina. Nice resume. I wonder how those cities are doing with their crime rate. May want to look into that um, and their oversight. Um, he is one of the one of many police consultants to have done business with Oakland. He is a partner in law enforcement uh, consulting group. They need consultants. Consultants. Wow. Oh, it's police performance situations solutions. So it's called Police Performance Solutions. Excuse me, you guys. He has uh, been a monitor in other cities such as Detroit, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, and North Ireland, and was appointed in 2014 to serve as a monitor in Maricopa County, Arizona. That's what I just showed you in that video. So this guy has been around and no one seems to, uh, he just keeps getting swept under the rug, but Mr. Warshaw, you are uh, a thorn in Oakland's back and someone needs to address it and I'm going to do that. With this type of resume, I wonder, you know, you gotta think, um, 2010, that's 14 years. And I did a study too, Oakland crime decreased from, I wanna say 2014 to about 2019, it was on a decline. So when he got in office, okay, let's say 2014, he gets in office. Oakland was pretty, I don't, Oakland wasn't, you know, we just had a lot of police brutality. Oakland wasn't that bad in 2014. We had a lot of police. Uh, we had them riders putting drugs on people and all types. So we had that. And so that crime was on a decline. So I think what happened is he seen an opportunity. Oh yeah, they gonna have to pay for this. And Oakland been paying that dude for over 14 years. How much money do you think Oakland is giving him? And we wondering why we don't have nothing in our city, but the police department still needs to get fixed. How long does it take to fix the police department? You are still in Arizona, you still in Oakland. When does the fix happen? You have a, con a consultant of police solutions and all. I hear this, what solution have you brought to Oakland? Look at it now. And you're still there, the crime is back up. Um, police department did get handled correctly. So what were you overseeing? And then you get rid of the brother, Leron. I wasn't feeling that. You know, hey, like I said, man, I'm not really one to go to bat for all these 5-0 and shit. You know, I'm not one. I'm going to keep it real. That situation to me, though, he was part of the community. Okay? He, people knew his ass. So it was different. You know, um, and now... Floyd Mitchell, I hope you, you got your hands full. You better get an extra pair of hands. But um, back to this dude, federal overseer. He is causing ruckus in these different cities. You got to think Detroit, Pittsburgh, New Jersey. Those are some uh, places, you know, um, where crime is high, you know, and they may need some type of help in a police department. But all those police departments are still mass i mean i don't want to say mass but still shooting uh innocent black people in the streets they still doing it they still have police brutality choke holds knees they still doing it if you watch the news man in uh, uh in your local area they still doing it but anyway back to this dude robert warshaw mr warshaw this is for you you're not gonna like it because i know you work for the feds i don't care they're, you're not supposed to like this because you're messing my city up. And all this money we're giving y'all, that could have went to our community. All the millions and tens of millions of dollars that was given to you by taxpayers in Oakland in a city still the same way ain't cool. I'm telling y'all, that ain't cool. So for that to be happening is not cool. And in Oakland, the police department, they still going through stuff and this mayor. Shane Tao, which brings me to her. She gets a lot of support from certain particular places in Oakland. She gets support. I don't know why. I'm still waiting for some tangible besides a nightclub or barber shop or, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm not going to sit and act like it's not no positive stuff going on. But see, we need some tangible in Oakland, like reparations. See, I noticed that no one, I gotta sit back for this one. 
No one is talking about reparations. No one in Oakland, in different parts of the city, they talking about the war in Gaza. I have a question for my black people, and this is a little off subject to my black people, black Americans. Which would you rather have? Um, or what's more important to you? Excuse me. Um, the war in Gaza. Or looking in your refrigerator, putting food on your table, having money to buy clothes and pay your bills, um, put gas in your car, um, and put your kids in nice programs in school, and reparations to do that. So what would be more important? What would be more tangible for you to spend more taxpayers' money on a war in Gaza? Or spend taxpayers' money on reparations for black people who have been struggling for centuries? So I want y'all to think about that when y'all put these people in office. Shane towels and all that stuff. What is she actually doing besides giving money to you nonprofits or whatever so y'all can put on a show? We don't need no shows, man. We need tangibles. We don't need nobody getting up here putting on a show for Oakland. We need tangibles for the city, man. My city is, is suffering, man. And it's due to all this money getting sent elsewhere. Floyd Mitchell, Shane Tao, go all the way inside of Oakland. Not just downtown and around. Go inside of Oakland. If you really care about Oakland, because the problem ain't outside of Oakland, it's inside where the poverty is stricken. Okay, so I just put it out there, and you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all.